So this kind of material follow the natural movement of the feathers because it's important in a fan dance that you have to, to create, uh, and, uh, you have to, to feel uh, that you have to show that the feathers is alive. And the other important things about the feather is have to be very light. And the other things is that you have to can close and open during the show because the movement of the feathers is very important. He has to be like a bird, you know, he's like he's still alive with me. The big feathers, this is a classic big feathers. You can see 12 steves and 12 feathers, but it's very easy and you can't move so well and how you can see the movement is not so nice. But what I do with, when I'm doing a big feathers is to use different steeds. Not this one or this one, but this one. In this way, I can put 24 feathers. Every piece, I, on every one of this, I can put two different feathers. One to this face and another one to this face. And still remain very, very, very light and the movement is perfect. So we need, I know, of course now I know that exactly what I, how much of this I need for one fan, so this is what I need. We start from the first. We, we want to create the same exactly distance between every piece. You have to, to do this thinking about that the performer have to open and close the feathers. Because if, if you can't close uh, a fan, you really can't bring with yourself when you take a plan, when you go to perform far away. The feather is very important because, you know, it's a symbol of the classic burlesque. The, the fan dance, since uh, Sally Rand do the first time, is uh, something that I think that uh, every classic burlesque dancer have to do. You can't have you can't be a, a classic burlesque performer and don't have a fan dance because, uh, first of all, in every in every um, um, location when uh, when I perform, they ask me usually for three act and one of those act have to be a fan dance. It's what the people expect from a, a burlesque dancer, especially in the. Um, corporate event is a is a kind of burlesque it's a kind of act that everyone enjoy of course i make for myself but i have now I have four different uh, couple of fans, so I, I really don't need more. 
I'm doing for uh, other performer. So, yes, this is a furniture for, uh, this is for uh, one of my colleagues that she have uh, uh, classes about fan dance, very specific uh, classes, and she have uh, 50 performers, so I have to do all the fans for the girls. And this is, uh, this is a fans for studio. So the first time that you bring, uh, when you have to learn how to use uh, um, fans, you, s you can start from the smaller. So I have prepared for these 50 girls. I have to finish. <laughs> I don't know where when I, I found the time, but it's, it's also something that I... Of course I'm doing costume and feather because I can have a good, good money, but it's also because I really like and I, I think that is relaxing for me. So when I am home and maybe alone, when, when my husband is not here like tonight, um, I'm pr I prefer to do this kind of thing and to create something. I hope to continue to do this for all my life. I really, I really like to do this thing. And when I create something, uh, I'm feeling very good. You know, it's something special. You see what you can do with your hand. All the feathers that I have tried doesn't work so well for me. It's too easy or you can't open and close so easy. So I have a thing that I can do better. So and after I have designed this special because this in this way you can see here the difference. So you can use this, this feather, the big one, and in your hands you have half, you know, and this is very important because if you have to handle the, the feathers in this way, like this one, after maybe two minutes you start to feel pain here. But if you can have the hand is very, you know, so the position is different. You can move very easy your finger and you don't feel pain here. So this is what I was thinking and now I'm doing this one. I don't know, of course there is other, there is many, many colleagues that doing, uh, you know, uh, like me, that they, they making a costume too. The first and the most important is Catherine Delish. She is, uh, she, she's amazing. She's, I think that she's my, my favorite performer at all. And I really, I really like her and her job. And I really hope to be like important like her one day.